Hi, it's Sam Tolbert, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're on to our next viewer request, a congregational song sung by, uh, it was Bishop P.A. Brooks, 1982, I believe it was, Convocation, and they weren't sure of the song. Once I heard it, I was very sure because I played that song in my church. Whose side are you leaning on? And you call in response, leaning on the Lord's side. So let's go to the key of E flat. And back down. Now, the call and response songs are some of your more I'll say enjoyable songs to play as a musician because they don't really take you too far, but it does allow you to interject chords around what's happening. Let me see. I'm trying to get the whose side are you? So right off the bat we're in the pentatonic scale, which means it opens up a, a world of jazz chords. Whose side are you leaning on? I, know, I can't sing. Leaning on the Lord's side. Whose side are you leaning on? Leaning on the Lord's side. Someone had mentioned if my wife could sing, she could sing some songs. I said, no, I, there are no singers here. Certainly, I'm not one. But I will give you that bit just to show you how you can chord around the call and response songs. Now, of course, in the convocational atmosphere, you have a lot of musicians who are just going to circle what's happening with uh, it act a a myriad of chords and movement, jazz movements. You don't really need that for this song. You'd want to stay within the context of what's happening. The lyrics will change based upon who's singing. They'll find whose side are you praying on, uh, whose side are you believing on, believing on, praying on. Or some of the different terms or words, uh, additional lyrics that were added. But it's going to stay there. Now, that, if for those who count the number system, we're in the one. Four, one. Now we're in the sixth. have a bass player you can just tell them stay within that in within that circle because from within there you can go quartet or you can go gospel Turn in there. Ba -da 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 -da. Not really a lot of chords, but again, you become in inventors. Let me see. You know they're going to be. You know, you know the the um that was the call. The response is going to be in the five, and that's important that that you be there. You can go, you can go back to the one. You can throw that in there. Pretty chord. 
No, this is a B flat. Excuse me, G flat to an E major. And repeat it. There it is. Over a B flat. Trust me, when you start to understand where musicians are getting their their, their, their chords from, you begin to invent your own. So again, whose side are you leaning on? Turn around, leaning on the Lord's side. Whose side? loved when I would play this song is just to try to mimic what the lead was doing and then and it's always going to be those changes not really much I can sh much more I can show you on this song because you need a real pattern with it let me pull up one of my patterns, the one that I like to use. Let me just pull it up. And I've got to set the tempo. I've got to speed it up. So yes, that's in a perfect atmosphere. You get a nice tempo with this song. Uh, the drummer stays with that nice uh, uh, downbeat, down on a one. And then you just begin to uh, implore chords found in the, in the pentatonic scale, also in the major scale, and also in the minor scale also. As long as you resolve, as they say, in the major or the major seventh or the major sixth scale. If you like these videos, please consider um, subscribing to our channel. We have viewers who request on a minimum of 10 requests every four or five days, which takes me a while to get to all of them. But uh, I enjoy doing this. Assisting musicians become better than they, w than they, than they were. Sound of Joy Music Services, consider subscribing. Give us that thumbs up, and of course, leave your comments. We're looking for you as we have still more viewer requests coming. Take care.